And for more on the financial support to rural areas in China, I'm joined by Chen 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 from Beijing. She is Deputy Director of Macroeconomics and, Re and a Research Fellow at Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies at Renmin University of China. Thanks for joining us. You hopefully heard our report there uh, from one area where small businesses are getting credit. The image we often get in the West here is that China is gorging on debt. Debts are huge. There's lots of credit. But it seems that people in rural areas struggle to get access to that. What are the barriers? Well, one of the biggest problems is that there is not a uh, um, proper, uh, how to say this, the data system. Well, uh, when we talk to the financial institutions, they say that the very first step is to identify who is in need and who have the right agricultural commodities or services to provide. So you have to have the basic, very basic um, public information uh, data system there. So that's why when today we talk about the internet, we talk about the power of the internet and also the power of the big data. I think there's a huge potential for uh, the uh, rural financing market. And you mentioned there big data, Chen Chen, but I would imagine many people in certainly the more remote areas of China wouldn't have access to that kind of thing. Um, how typical is it for people in those areas to take advantage of these kinds of, uh, these kinds of cheap credit, credit loans? Well, I think when we do the service, the uh, increase in ratio is quite prominent. For example, uh, people are using the internet pay, even in very remote, uh, small and remote villages. Today, when they uh, do uh, such internet pay, they don't need to carry any cash. They just uh, uh, carry their uh, mobile phone and uh, do the pay very instantly. But for the small credit um, uh, system, I have to uh, admit that uh, today, uh, when the uh, big e-commerce giants like Alibaba and JD.com, when they approach the uh, re very remote and small villages, they have to build not just the data system, but also they have to win the credit system uh, in the very first step. These are all the uh, barriers. That's interesting that you say that, though. So companies like Alibaba, they're perhaps performing services that banks traditionally would have done. Yes. Uh, well, in China, uh, traditionally, uh, it is the government banking uh, loans that are uh, that have been allocated to the farmers. For example, the rural cooperatives, credit cooperatives, we just talked about in the report. But now the government is seeing the potential of the marketized uh, uh, forces, for example, the Alibaba and the JD.com, they think that it, we should combine not just the government banking loans, but also the power of the uh, uh, marketized uh, forces. And just talking about banks, Chen Chen, the kind of big picture there, I mentioned a moment ago debts in China, that the International Monetary Fund, we mentioned a moment ago, warning China that debts are a problem. I see that. Um, the reserve ratio for many banks is being lowered. That would effectively allow them to provide credit to these rural businesses we're talking about. But there have to be concerns that by relaxing those rules, that might contribute to the debt problem and the sustainability of those debts. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, indeed, that, that is a problem. But for the short term, that is uh, indeed a good news for the small entrepreneurs in the rural areas. Because when you cut the 3R, the uh, 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 required reserve ratio. That means the financial institutions and the banks are in a better place to, provi to provide the cheap small loans. But as you said, on the other hand, they have to control the risks on a very, uh, on a better or a more flexible way. And, Owen. And, and just very briefly, what's your take? Do you think that banks in China and financial institutions are controlling those risks adequately? Uh, I don't think so, but I think they are moving toward a, a stronger base, especially after the 19 uh, CPC Congress, because now we are starting to talk about the legalization of the uh, financial services in China in rural areas, which is unprecedented before. So uh, we, we have to take in consideration the, both the experiences and lessons from the developed economies like the U.S. Uh, as I said, we have to combine the uh, uh, not just the uh, uh, power of the uh, uh, government banking uh, banks, but also uh, the uh, uh, power of the uh, internet um, and giants. All right, we'll have to leave it there. We're out of time. Chun 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 in Beijing, thanks very much for talking to us.